Sit down and pour yourself a cup of coffee. Today's topic is a bit more serious, but that's exactly the point. Understand this. Comfort is the enemy. Uncomfortable situations will, however, make you grow and evolve. Fear, when taken head on, will push you to new heights. Now remember this. Life is short and death comes to us all. That means the time for action is now. Hey everyone, Coach Stan here. So for today's video, I pulled information from several sources. I will be listing them down below in the description box, as well as using my own experiences to make my points clearer. I'll be keeping it brief, so let's get into it. I'll be using Maslow's Pyramid of Needs style to illustrate my point. I chose this style as it perfectly represents the bottom to top type of approach to dealing with human psychology. To be in control of any situation that life throws at us, we must understand the full spectrum of the hierarchy of our mind and body, from the top down to the very bottom. So using this same style of approach, I'll be illustrating my point. We are result oriented and motivated creatures and these are governed by our behavior so the way you act and do will give you your results and these are external factors so basically it's what you do in your everyday life others can observe it beneath this are your thoughts now your thoughts directly influence your behavior and underneath that are your feelings feelings and thoughts are related so they directly impact and affect each other. However, what we need to keep in mind is that our thoughts are determined by our feelings. So the way you feel will directly impact your thoughts, even though these, things, these two things are very close to each other. Now, men have a hard time differentiating between the two. In fact, very often they think that thoughts are feelings. Underneath feelings, you will find emotions, and beneath that, you will find the physiology of the human body. These are all internal factors, right? So internal will influence the external, and your base will influence your goal. Understanding all of this is important in the grand scheme of things. Now, just to touch on everything a bit from the bottom to the top, your physiology are basically your organs, gut, joints, lungs, mainly your heart, I would say. It's a determining factor for you to know and understand the following things afterwards. So your body's communication with the brain are sensations and sensations are emotion, right? So E from emotion stands for energy. Energy and motion is emotion. Moving on from this, being aware of your emotions is feeling, right? So now you're feeling your emotions and feelings are impacting your thinking and your thoughts impact your actions and behaviors. Obviously, then your actions and behaviors will impact your results. And this is where we get into habits. Now, having said all of this, it's important that we keep good habits in our everyday life. You want to make sure that you eat right, you get up at a certain time, you train, you exercise, you're staying fit as much as you can, and you also train your mind. You want to make sure that you get some sort of meditation in, you read, you try to evolve in every aspect of life and never choose to stagnate. Being stagnant in life is comfortable. You want to stay away from comfortable and you want to get uncomfortable by taking on responsibilities that will push you to your limits. Also not overdoing it by taking on too many at the same time. In closing, I'll leave you with some key points and quotes from various authors.
Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share the video, and let me know what you think. Stay tuned, keep evolving, and I'll talk to you soon.